Good day everyone, Alien Sama here with the most important creature to exist in the alien universe. Besides the queen herself, the queen facehugger, aka the facehugger that infects the human that will create the next alien queen. Um, I'm so excited because these are brand new. They were $34 each, I believe, $34.99, so about the same price as the older ones that I just unboxed. Um, these ones are brand new. I think they came out near the end of last year or this year in 2017. So that's awesome. And what's so cool is literally last unboxing video for the NECA aliens. I said it'd be cool if they put a comic. And look, there's a freaking comic. Dark Horse comic book inside. So let's get this open, have a look at the comic, and then we'll look at the queen. Let's go. Okay, so as per usual, we're cutting down and around with an X-Acto knife so we can keep the box and everything inside for later preservation. So here's the comic. Here's our little dudes. We got a Alien Queen face hugger, and the other one was called a Beta Alien Queen. Yeah, with Beta Queen face hugger. I wonder what that means. Beta usually means, um, like there's the Alpha and the Beta, I believe. That's how it goes. Because Omega is the other or the complete alpha like the biggest the baddest like in uh, hierarchy the king would be the omega queen would be the alpha and then the beta would probably be like the prince or the heir to the throne so let's look at the comic and then get to these amazing suckers and see how poseable they are because i really hope they are Okay, so this is a little tiny comic. It's about a perfect square almost. It's more of a rectangle. It says number 11. So there must be more of these out here. Um, I have two other sets that come, or yeah, I have two other sets. So I have the Mantis alien that's coming up and the Gorilla alien. I do not have the new warrior one, so meh, but there's 11 of these. So this one's called Giant Facehugger Alien Pterodome. So we're not going to read it, but we're going to kind of flip through it to get a little try and get a visual sense of what's happening so we see the queen face huggers up there damn it's huge look at it it can wrap around a whole human's neck there's tons of them holy but i guess if they're going to um, give birth to a massive um alien then why not be massive itself that's an interesting machine it looks like a alien that's cool. I hope they make a figure of that. Don't necessarily need the person inside, but it'd be neat to see. Oh, damn. Okay, so this guy was inside. Oh, it's not a machine. It's a guy wearing a um, kind of an exosuit on top of his shoulders. Damn, that guy looks like some X-Men looking stuff. <laughs> oh, my. I guess if you're... Um... And it said sometime in the future, so this is probably way past Ripley, maybe. Or is that Ripley? The monster rhino got them? The monster rhinos got them? Monster rhinos? Monster rhinos? What? Maybe they're talking about the... They wouldn't be talking about that. It's got teeth sticking out, but you wouldn't think it was that. That didn't really explain anything about the queen facehuggers. I guess if you want to learn more, I'll have to unbox the other ones and look at that comic. And hopefully it kind of um, all falls together. So now this just needs to straighten out and not be... All like that. So let's move on to the face hugger. Here are the two face huggers out. So here's the alpha and here's the beta. Uh, do they look the same? They are identical, but one is smaller and one is bigger, as you can obviously see. So let's check them out. So the little one, let's move you out the way and take a closer look. Okay, so little one. Very interesting. It has the webbed features. I've only ever seen, uh, gosh, I haven't really read the Alien comics for a few years. I collected them for quite a while and then kind of fell out because I was like, nah, comic books. Uh, manga took over my life, basically. But um, I'm not sure if there ever was an official Alien Queen facehugger revealed anywhere. I know there was this picture, which was very convincing. It looked real. Um, I thought it was real, and I always thought, hey, that's what the Queen looked like. But then they release these, and I'm like, is this a red hives face hugger maybe? Because it basically looks the same, just this one's red and black. But if it's not, that that's interesting, I guess. But I guess it doesn't really... I was going to say, why would a red face hugger make a dark blue queen? But the face huggers in general are very pasty, white, and skin tone, and the child that comes out of them is pitch black, 
glossy jet black. Although, eh, I wonder, I wonder if when they changed the suit from being translucent to black, they were like, well, now the face hugger doesn't make sense, meh. But they didn't bother, maybe, I don't know. Ideas, theories, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge theory person, I just like having things presented to me and I take it for face value mostly. I don't like going too in depth, but this is a smaller one. Um, is there anything bendable on its tail? Uh, there seems to be a little tiny wire up here, but that's about it. There's a wire here. Maybe it's the wire is not strong enough to um, hold all this plastic in place, but right here you can tell there's actual posability of the tail that kind of stays in place. But not too much. This is kind of small, so... And it's got this same little dagger tail at the end, like most of the aliens do. And little tiny limbs and its little webness, which probably makes it a great swimmer. It's tiny little tendrils, and of course the underneath that we had a good look at. It looks very bloody and red. It's even got the kind of the crown of the queen underneath it, and on top as well. Because if you look at it like that, it pretty much is the queen's crown. So... There's the little one, so the um, Alpha, which is much bigger and easier to distinguish details. Now that looks like an alien queen crown. So when the queen hatches from your chest, which I'm sure would be a much more painful experience than a regular uh, alien, you'll, you'll probably feel that. Oh, look at that. Uh, this, it's got, there's two joints right here. So it can kind of pose and do that. Um, are they bendy? How about these? Oh, these have little joints too. That's strange. Why would you do that? You could have just put metal in there. I guess. I don't know. So these are all posable. There's a little rotary joint in there. I guess you could use heat or a heat gun to kind of repose these. Just heat it up, bend it, and then bend it into place, let it cool, bend it in place, let it cool. Uh, the bottom is even more detailed because it's bigger and we can see all of the little veins and fleshy crevices. The webbing looks amazing. It looks real. It's also transparent, as you can see. Transparency, which is nice, very neat. So cool, the Alien Queen Pacer. So I tried to get these a while ago, but the store that sold them uh, ran out before I could get any because I was in a financial situation. But... I went into Toys R Us today, got those Pokemon cards you saw a preview of, and then I, then I walked over to the kind of NECA section of Toys R Us in our stores, at least, kind of the video game section, and there it was. I saw the Gorilla Alien, and I'm like, let's see what's behind this. So I took it off the shelf, I'm like, oh no, the Mantis. So I took the Mantis off the shelf, and then I saw the Alien Queen face hug, and I was like, no, this is so much money. And I took the, um, I took the Queen off the shelf, and then it was... Uh, not Bishop, oh god, what's his name? The first guy in the movie that got the face hugger on his face for the first time in the series, or at least the movie series, and he was there and I already have him, so I was like, oh thank god, the other one wasn't there. Although the other one's just a blue repaint, which I think is silly. But I'll buy it anyways. No, nah, no, nah, nah. thanks NECA. NECA taking my money, one repaint at a time. So yeah, this is her. The tail, as you can see, is slightly poseable as well, but the wire inside, yet again, is not that strong. I really wish they would put stronger wires so I could coil this up and, like, I wonder if I could coil it around someone's neck. Eh. No, not really. It wouldn't be a tight coil, which is unfortunate, or make these so all the limbs are poseable. Even if it was just all this was floppy, kind of plastic with metal inside, that would be great. Like the life-size face hugger uh, prop that I have, which I don't think I did an unboxing video for. Hmm. Maybe I'll just kind of show it to you guys, but, eh. Yeah, sorry! If you're interested in seeing a life-size face hugger uh, model, leave a comment below. I'll probably do it anyways. But, that's basically it for this unboxing video for $34.99 Canadian, which is not too bad for people in the USD or... If you got Great British Pounds or USD, this will probably be a little cheaper for you. But, you get two face huggers of the queen type and you get a little comic inside now i hope they continue doing this because i was so stoked when i saw that that's it for this unboxing video we'll see you guys in the next one and as always peace out guys Bye bye